we can combine a lot of the different techniques that we learned for working with data frames into a single workflow to accomplish a useful task. In this case, if we want to calculate the per capita energy use, we'd have to go through several steps. First, we would need to get the total energy use for all states. Then join the data frames that include the energy data with the population data. Multiply by a million to get total metric tons, and then divide by the population to get the metric tons per person. In the first cell, we'll read in the data for the sectors, set the index to the state name, and then sum along the column axis to create a column on the right that is the total, and we'll add that to the original data frame. And there's the total column. Now we'll read in the population data and carry out an inner join to merge the two data frames together. Here's the population data and here's the total energy use. Finally, we'll carry out the vectorized operation of multiplying the total column by a million and then dividing by the population 2020 numbers that we got. And here's the per capita energy use in a new column. If we want to have these in descending order, then we can use the ascending equals false argument. I also went ahead and assigned the name column as the row index. If we want to save the data, we can save it in several ways. Since I'm operating on my local file system, I can just use the to Excel column and it will store it in the default directory that the notebook is running out of. Let's check and see if it's there. Here's the folder where my notebook is, and here's the Excel file. The data looks just like it did in the notebook. If I'm using Colab, then I'll probably want to save the data in my Google Drive. In that case, I'll have to mount my Google Drive and set the root path to the appropriate location. By default, the row label index is saved as one of the columns. In this case, it's fine because I want to have the state names in here. However, if I don't set any row label index and simply allow it to create the default numeric ones, then when I create the data file, it will export this series of numbers, which is not necessarily what I want. Here in the CSV spreadsheet, I can see that I have an unnecessary column with numbers in it. If I want, I can avoid this by using the index equals false argument. Now when I look in the CSV file, the column with numbers in it is missing.